Hey, hi there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for turning in to the energies and influences coming through for your weekly reading, March 3rd to the 9th of 2019. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Taurus, off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number zero of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Fool. The ruling planet for the fuel, Fool is Uranus. It's the first of the major arcana, of the 22 cards that show hidden meanings. Now there's a new path. A choice is offered. This is having absolute faith in the universe. And now it's a major new beginning. It's trusting life. It's a blind leap of faith. This card gives us the courage to continue and prods us to seek new experiences. You should be following your own instinct rather than the advice of others. And if we follow our instincts, we will be provided with guidance. You're being on the edge of an important new beginning. Embarking on a new way of life. Could be a physical journey or moving. Starting a new job or getting married or divorced. It's the first step, despite some fear. You know, the fool represents a state of openness and faith that will be supported in our adventure. You may be in touch with the intuitive realm. You may feel no fear and feel everything will turn out well. So react with a pure heart. Your second card, and this is the energies crossing over your path. Number 10 of Swords. This is air energy. Has to do with your thoughts and the mind. This is the end of a period of trials and hardships. Backstabbing gossip ends. You may have hit rock bottom, but now you can stop worrying. Making a clean break from the past hurtful pain. And now a new cycle begins. So stop if you are feeling sorry for yourself. You may, get, you may have given up, but now there's closure. Now there's nowhere to go but up. You may have felt that you've made huge sacrifices for others and yet received nothing in return. So pick yourself up and get on with life. There's a lesson going to be learned here. No making the same mistakes twice. Be careful about drawing conclusions too quickly because you will achieve most with peace of mind and presence of mind. This could be the end of a painful separation or an illness. You'll soon be able to see a situation realistically and move forward. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. And this is you moving forward. The Eight of Cups, Aries. Water energy. This is moving on. Could be travel by land. Two eights represents new knowledge. And there may be a permanent separation with someone. But this is the ability to leave something behind in order to go on to new concerns. You see, the cups have not fallen, so there's no disaster. You know it's time to move on. 
it's a shift in your life from being involved in doing things with others, and now you need some quiet and a chance to be alone. You're close to losing all hope in a romance, and you may walk away from it. Yet there still may be an affectionate person around you. You've turned your back on those eight, eight neatly stacked cups, and you're heading towards the mountain. You know, the care that what you collected and placed those cups shows previous concern, but now they're being abandoned. Doesn't mean they're abandoned. Sometimes you can take them with you. This, you see the moon, it's both in its full and waning quarters. The moon looks on, signifying the end of something and the beginning of something new. The card indicates leaving the past behind. And even though the cups are full, they're no longer satisfying because something is missing. Dreams and visions, which are not immediately obvious, make up a valuable part of your feelings. Let them help your consciousness and your powers of discrimination grow. Start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal, the cups. This is an emotional turning point, and a better future is just around the corner. Your fourth card, it's the card of the future. It's the results, the outcome, and the advice. The Ten of Wands, Taurus, more fire energy. This is feeling overloaded and a need to bear up. This is the workaholic laboring under his overcommitments. This card's advice speaks of the importance of persisting in your goals despite great burdens. It's like many fire-fueled runners and bodybuilders can attest, sometimes you have to go for the burn. You may be weary, determined, overworked. You're shouldering burdens taking on too many responsibilities, testing your limits, and toughing it out. Keep going. You've come too far to let things drop. If you don't ask for help, then it's up to you to carry the load. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. The Eight of Swords, Taurus. This is air energy. This is a temporary durance and restriction. This is limiting beliefs. That's right, I wanted to tell you what two, two tens meant, because you have two tens and two eights. So two tens are change, and two eights is new knowledge. You may have some kind of fear to move out of a situation which makes you bonded and restricted. It's a limiting belief. It is temporary, though. It's a bad situation that's temporary. You might be feeling trapped. So use courage to think in a new way. Cast off bonds and obligations. Unless you change habitual behavior, You'll not get any further, and when you dwell on wrong thoughts and ideas, it binds you from moving forward. You might be fearful of moving out of a situation that is binding, although these restrictions are self-imposed because of fear and indecision, but a sign is going to come to show you the way. There are some problems to overcome and decisions to make. You will not remain stuck. There is a solution to every problem, and real freedom comes from inside your own spirit. Your oracle card from the Sacred Traveler. 
by Denise Lynn. Passion and pleasure. Savor your life. Find joy in the moment. No matter what is occurring in your life, if you simply focus on what is splendid, wonderful, and pleasurable in the moment, everything improves. Live deliciously. Love often and fully. Cherish your friendships. Fill your life with the people, experiences, and places that give you delight and joy. Let go of those people and things that don't appreciate or empower you. Give yourself permission to be happy. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that when the traveler meets a band of gypsies, the traveler stops to dance into the early morning hours. Sometimes we get so caught up with wondering what's around the next bend and worrying about our current challenges that we forget to focus on what's great in the moment. You're not meant to simply work hard and be diligent and practical. Embrace pleasure whenever you can. Allow your senses to be satiated. Find and explore the beauty around you. You don't need to suffer to grow. You can grow spiritually by leaps and bounds through joy. Dance. Eat well. Drink well. Share joy wherever you, you can. Here's your take note moment. The law of attraction, also known as the law of the universe, is active at all times. Using your imagination, actually pretend that you have your desire. Now evoke that feeling of having your desire. Get into the feeling of having what you want now. As you practice the feeling, you are activating the law and putting yourself on the correct frequency. As you practice, it will get stronger and stronger. The law must respond. Only we can block this law by doubt and negative thinking. That is why we must control our thoughts. If people only knew the effect of negative thinking, they would never think a negative thought again. Thanks, you guys. I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a thumbs up or a comment. Now remember, what goes around comes around. And I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.